It's day seven of the vlogs. Uh, this one coming to you a little later than I anticipated it would. Um, time's now nearly 11 o'clock. I should be getting in bed soon. Um, not long got home from the gym. Got a bit of a twinge or pain in my back. Need to work through that before I go to sleep, otherwise that's going to bug me all night. Um, I've come across a slight stumbling block as far as dieting or trying to lose weight goes. Actually, it's not even a stumbling block. It's something I've known about, but I've never really had an explanation for it. And I've just ignored it and carried on and let life be or let my body be as it may. Um, so the last couple of weeks I've hit a bit of a plateau as far as my weight loss goes. Um, and I've been doing some research as to why this happens. Now I know from past experiences, dieting, especially when on calorie deficits or calorie restricted diets, there comes a point where you hit a plateau and most nutritionists or dietitians would say, yeah, plateaus are normal. All you have to do then, that, that's a sign to cut your calories even more. With modern science and experimentation and proof, basically, this has been, this is all shown to be bullshit. And really what's happening is your body gets to the point where it starts shutting down your metabolism. It starts slowing down how many um, calories it processes to keep you alive and a lot of it or more of it starts going into fat stores so there was even a point over the last week where on one day I was definitely in a calorie deficit but the next day the scale was showing that I had gained weight it could be water weight I don't know I've got no reliable way of testing or measuring that but this is something I've experienced before this is nothing new to me I've dieted before especially on even on some severe calorie restrictions um, the worst one I've ever been on was a what was the total calorie count I think my total calorie intake was around um, 650 to 800 calories per day and I did that for three months so I was essentially on a three-month fast um, and it worked well I lost the best part of 30 kilos but the problem was my body became so efficient at not using calories in that time because I didn't do any real exercise yeah I was still mildly active in that Maybe once a week I'd meet up with friends and kick a ball about or I'd um, go cycling I or BMX riding or whatever. But when it came around to me starting to eat normal again, because of my body's newfound efficiency, it stored every last calorie it could get its hands on. Any, anything I was putting in my mouth and probably, you know, every last calorie that was being processed was being held on to. And um, over the space of like one and a half or two years, I ballooned up to a weight higher than I was before. I think I was, by the point I found that I needed to turn it, turn it around again, I was a good probably two, two and a half stone um, heavier. So 12, 15 kilos heavier than my previous heaviest. Um, and that seems to be the case with every long diet I've done, calorie restricted diet I've done. Uh, when it comes to eating normally again, it everything piles on and there's always the extra 10% regardless of what you try and do. Um, and yeah, that, like I said, that's just a sign of your body becoming more efficient at storing calories and burning fewer calories to keep you alive. I was kind of hoping this time it would be different because I'm 
exercising quite a lot, sort of three, four, sometimes five times a week, uh, mostly doing strength training, so moving heavy weights and then finishing every session with 20 minutes to half an hour of cardio, um, keeping my heart rate in the like around 110 to 120 BPM. Obviously some of the new studies and research is showing as well that exercise, especially cardio, is is very inefficient is a very inefficient way for losing weight because unless you're already in ketosis i.e fasting essentially um you can't burn fat for exercise as or you can't burn fat to fuel exercise regular exercise relies on fewer than 10 percent of the calories that you take in in a day so uh, yeah the human body is very efficient at making the most out of calories anyway and every time you go on a calorie restriction the body becomes more and more efficient so what a bitch anyway so i need to go and work out a way around this to get through this plateau um to get back to actually burning or losing fat and not just making my body more efficient at creating more fat because that would suck like really bad anyway that wraps up day seven tomorrow's day eight got a busy day ahead but i will see you then no doubt